boys and girls, it's a new month. And guess what? Today we celebrate Jesus is alive. He is alive. He's not dead anymore. Let's say a prayer as we start. Thank you, Jesus, that you did not stay on this, in the grave. Thank you that you came back to life and you love us so much that, Lord, you have even chosen to walk with us every single day. Thank you for taking care of us all the, single, all the months of the year that have gone by. We commit our service to you. May you be exalted. May you be magnified. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Boys and girls, let's stand up and dance for Jesus. I'm feeling good, good, good in a crazy way. God's love changed me more than I can say. Can't keep this in, gotta let it out. Gonna tell the whole world that your love is spinning me around and around. Yeah, it's turning me upside down. I can't believe the way you love me more than I can contain. I'm gonna turn around and give, give, give it away.
stories of the Bible. The Road to Emmaus. This is Jesus. Hey, oh! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms <laughs> and even raised people from the dead. <laughs> But some people did not like what Jesus was doing <laughs> and they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb, and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty, and that he was no longer there. Ah! For he was risen, he was alive. That same day, Two of Jesus' followers were walking to a village called Emmaus and talking about everything that had happened with Jesus. As they were talking, Jesus suddenly came and walked with them. Oh, hello. But God kept them from recognizing Jesus. Jesus asked them what they were talking about. The two men were very sad. One of them, whose name was Cleopas, said, You must be the only person in Jerusalem who hasn't heard about all the things that have happened there in the last few days. Uh. Jesus asked, what things? The men replied, the things that happened to Jesus. And they began to tell Jesus about everything that had happened to him. They told him that some women had gone to his tomb and said that his body was missing and that others had gone to see if it was true and saw that his body really was gone. Then Jesus said to them, you foolish people, You find it so hard to believe all that the prophets wrote in the scriptures. Uh, let me explain. Then Jesus took them through the writings of Moses and all the prophets, explaining from all the scriptures the things concerning himself. By this time, they were nearing Emmaus. Jesus acted as if he was continuing on. Hey, wait! But the men begged him to stay the night with them because it was getting late. Come with us! Oh, okay. So Jesus went home with them. And as they sat down to eat, Jesus blessed the bread. Then he broke the bread and gave it to them. Suddenly their eyes were open and they recognized Jesus. It's you! And at that moment, he disappeared. Where'd he go? The men said to each other, didn't our hearts burn within us as he explained the scriptures to us? Come on! And that hour, they made their way back to Jerusalem They found the eleven and the others who were with them and told them their story. As they were telling their story, Jesus was suddenly standing among them. Well, that's all what happened. Yep. Ah! Everyone was frightened and thought he was a ghost. Okay, come on, guys. But Jesus showed that it was really him. He showed them his hands and feet, and they all watched him in awe. Then Jesus asked for something to eat. Oh, got anything to eat? And they gave him fish to eat. Oh, that's good. Jesus reminded them that everything happened as it was supposed to and helped them understand the scriptures. Then he promised to send them the Holy Spirit and told them to stay in Jerusalem until the Holy Spirit would come and fill them with the power from heaven. Good morning, boys and girls. It's Easter Sunday. Happy Easter Sunday. Hi, Sissy. Say hi to the boys and girls. Hi. Oh, boys and girls, we are so excited because Jesus is risen. Amen. Yes, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is risen because it's Easter Sunday. Remember what we learned the other week and last week? We learned that first Jesus was arrested and then he was crucified on the cross for our sins and because he loved us and last week we learned that he was taken away down from the from the cross and he was buried in a tomb that belonged to a rich man called joseph, joseph. and today we see that he is risen and guess what sissy do you remember what was happening in the video yes yes 
Now, we know that Jesus is risen and there are two travelers. Oh, I just walking, they're walking, they're walking, they're walking. And then Jesus, they meet Jesus and they continue walking. Did you see what they were talking about in the video? Yeah. Yes. They were they talking were, about him. Yes, they were talking about Jesus. But yet they didn't know that this was Jesus they were talking about. about. So they were very sad. And they were and they, and then Jesus asked them, Why are you so sad? And then they told Jesus, Who are you? Are you new in Jerusalem that you do not know that? There was a man called Jesus and he was crucified. He was innocent and he was crucified and died. And as they were walking along, Jesus told them about the scriptures. Scriptures are things that happen in the Bible. Jesus told them all these stories. And then it was getting very late and they were going to a town called Emmaus. So when they got there, they told Jesus, it's very late. Don't go away, come so that we may have some food together. And so they sat down, you saw the way they sat down, they got some food and they broke some bread and they ate it. And when they broke the bread and ate it is when they recognized, oops, we have been with Jesus all along. And Jesus went away from them and the two disciples were very excited. It was at night, but they decided, no, we have to go and we have to tell the others that we have seen the reason Jesus. Isn't that good news? Oh, I would have loved to be there to be able to see the reason Jesus. But the good news, boys and girls, is that Jesus rose again and he is with us each and every day. Sissy, he's with teacher, he's with Sissy, he's with mommy, he's with daddy, and he's with you, and he's with your siblings every other day, everywhere. And that is good news, isn't it, Sissy? Mm. Yes! So we celebrate once again that Jesus is risen. Good. And now we go back to our memory verse. I hope you're remembering the memory verse. You've been saying it with us. So welcome once again to the memory verse. My name is Bowen and the memory verse for today is Luke chapter 24 verse 26. It says it's not the Messiah have to suffer these things he then enter his glory. Just say it again. Luke chapter 24 Verse 26, it says, Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things? He then enter his glory. Good job! I hope we have been keen, boys and girls, to learn that memory verse throughout the month. And what did it say? It was from Luke, Luke chapter, chapter 24 and verse, verse 26. Can we remember again? Let's say it one more time. Did not the Messiah, Messiah suffer these things and then enter his glory? Yes. Yes, we see from our story of Jesus, he was he suffered all these things from being betrayed by Judas to being arrested to being crucified to being buried and then to rising up and entering into his glory. glory. Yes, boys and girls, thank you for reciting the memory verse with us. And now, boys and girls, it's time to give. Yes, especially this Easter, it's time to give with a thankful heart because the Lord is risen again. So ask my me and ask daddy to give using the church pay bill number below and all as always thank you for remembering to put aside some money for jesus and now before we leave boys and girls I'd like us to as always put our hands together bow our heads close our eyes and say a word of prayer dear lord jesus we thank you for for dying on the cross for our sins and rising and being with us each and every day. We thank you that wherever we look, you are with us. Wherever we are, you are with us. We thank you and we ask you to protect us and keep us safe in the coming week. We pray this trusting and believing in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Have a lovely week and remember that Jesus is with you 
everywhere you are. See you next Sunday. Bye.